Hello, I hope you're not sick of the Zoom L6 yet because I keep finding reasons to use it in videos. More to come actually, as I may have something on the way to compare it to, hint, hint. But I digress, what's going on here? Looks like there's something modulating the parameters of the L6 channels, doesn't it? Maybe even an LFO or six? Good eye, because that's exactly what's happening. And unlike my last video using the MIDI input, this time there's no fancy external sequencer involved. Long story short, my pal and fellow gear enabler, Phil, hi Phil, whom you may have heard mentioned on the channel before, made a companion app for the Zoom L6 that not only gives you full control over all the parameters, but also adds individual LFO modulation options for each parameter as well. So you can modulate parameters differently from each other or whatever and get some movement going in whatever is going through the L6 channels. I'll post links in the description, but you can check out the L6 Companion app at zooml6.webmidi.cc. I should also preface that neither Phil or I are affiliated with Zoom in any way. This is just something he made because it was cool to do so. And as the handy URL implies, the Zoom L6 Companion is a Web MIDI app. So that means it will work in the browser on a variety of different devices without anything extra to install, depending on that platform's web MIDI support. Case in point, here I've got it running on this old Microsoft Surface Pro that I have no other use for. I've also gotten it working on my Android phone, which is super convenient, though for that you may need to bridge the MIDI in and out on the unit itself via a cable to get full bi-directional MIDI support, but I'll demonstrate that later. Phil has also tested it on Mac OS and Windows 10, I believe. I've had issues getting it working with Windows 11, but that may be my specific PC as I probably customized some settings somewhere and forgot. Also, being web MIDI, it goes without saying that it won't work on iOS without some sort of app that bridges web MIDI to core MIDI, but I'm told Phil will look into that if there's enough demand. I'm paraphrasing that from Phil's Reddit post, which I'll link to, so you can all flood him with requests and praise at your leisure. For what it's worth, you may need to adjust the input and output devices in the available dropdowns as well, as depending on which device I'm using, I've seen different options here. On this old Surface, for example, it needed to be set to MIDI in to and MIDI out to respectively, in order to work. And don't forget to try bridging the MIDI in and out ports on the L6 itself if you find you don't have bi-directional MIDI working, like I have to do on my Android phone. Did I mention Phil also made the companion app open source and provided the source code on GitHub so you can fork it and mess with the code yourself if you want? It really does pay to surround myself with people much smarter than me. Let me pause all the LFOs at once via this handy option in the companion app here. So how is this different from the video I posted using the MIDI in on the L6 to automate channel parameters? Well, those MIDI tricks required a fancy sequencer like the Deluge or an Electron device and a bunch of setup. Still fun and useful, mind you. Whereas in this case, all you need is a compatible phone or computer and you're off. Not to mention the LFO options are already available and ready to go. No setup required. So what can you do with this app? Well, for starters, you could use your phone or computer to control just about every parameter on the unit. Just in case the L6 is buried in the depths of your hardware setup, tangled in cables far away, for example. It's also very convenient to see and get access to every individual control at once without having to page through the various options like you have to on the unit. It's also nice to see some actual numbers when adjusting parameters, zero to 127 in this case, as per standard MIDI implementation. So you can fine tune your parameter settings like I did on the level here for my mic is set to 120. That would be hard to dial in using just the LEDs on the unit. In general, I do sometimes find that the LED rings on the Zoom L6 itself don't always make fine tuning the parameters very intuitive or easy. That's where this companion app can be helpful as you can drop things by a couple of ticks or easily ensure specific channel parameters are equal to each other if that's important. You can also use the advanced settings in the companion app to change things like the MIDI channel on the L6, as well as customize the MIDI CC numbers to your specific needs. Phil is hoping to add further features and improvements, including potential support for scenes or presets that you could recall. So keep an eye on things and feel free to reply to his Reddit post or fork the code on GitHub, etc. Just be nice, Phil's my pal. Of course, 
As per the now flashing lights here, in my case, it's the addition of LFOs to the L6 parameters that got me the most excited, as it easily allows interesting control and tone shaping options for whatever you have running into the L6 channels, which we can quickly demonstrate here on my voice. As an example, we can use this light show we've got going on here. Um, that is modulating each of the channel's effects send, which is set to Hall Reverb at the moment. So my voice is going through channel one, and when I turn up the effects return a little bit, you'll hear the reverb ramp up and down as I'm talking to you right now. I won't go too loud so it doesn't peak a little bit, but there. hopefully you can hear some reverb popping in and out as I'm talking. And that's just an example that we already had set up for a light show. Now, if I wanted to as well, we could do something with the level. I could automate. Let's see if I only go negative to keep it from peaking too much. Set the rate super high and square shape. It should give me a nice choppy. Yeah, there you go. Now I'm, I'm very choppy and I've got some reverb occasionally. So I can pause that. Let's see, I can pause that or uh, reset it or whatever I want. And there we go. I'm back to normal with some reverb. But that gives you a quick example of, you know, this app. I could I can fine tune the EQ, like I could up the highs or drop the highs down in my in my vocal here. Um, if I just want control over all the parameters and see everything at once without having to page through all these EQ options. But I can also add LFOs to everything if I wanted to as well and get some warble and some interesting sound shaping options going. To take that to the extreme, the addition of per-parameter LFOs also means you can have a lot of fun using the L6 as a no-input drone box. For example, connect one of the aux sends to a channel, then send that same channel to that particular aux send, and you'll get a feedback loop going. Let's try it. So aux send one sent to channel four will turn mono on. And now we send aux send one, we send channel four to aux send one. I'll turn the high frequency down a little bit as it might get grating, but this is just a noise example to start. So I'll bring up the level and we should hear that feedback loop kick in. There we go. So already, you know, you've got some kind of option if you wanted to, you could send this to the reverb and maybe start messing around with things without any of these parameters. But where it's going to get interesting is engaging those LFOs. So we've got channel four here. Let's add some modulation to the pan. So now you should hear it. We'll slow that down a touch. But you should hear that going between your ears, making you a little seasick. Apologies if that's true. And then let's do the mid frequency because we can get sort of a filter effect going if we do that. So we will go full depth and we've got it on there. Now we need to sweep the mid to try to make that sound interesting for us. Thank <laughs> you. 
Then we can bring back some of the highs. So you can hear there's a bit of like filter sweeping going on because of we are using an LFO to sweep that mid frequency. And let's pause the pan LFO we set up there so you can hear that a little better. So that's just the mid frequency sweeping on this channel and I can slow that right down. And now we can resume our pan if we wanted to, which we could speed up for contrast. Okay, and now we can add a second aux send to another channel and get a different drone going. So we really have like a real chaotic stew in the works. So channel two will send to aux, or channel three will send to aux two. Set that to mono as well. Aux two here, all the way up. Now, bring up our level here. There's your other drone. Drop that just a bit. So for this example, we don't want to blow each other's ears off. And now we're in channel three, where we can affect some change. Let's say to the level. Let's add a square. We got square bipolar. Or we can go square negative even to stop ourselves from peaking. And there you go. Something weird. So if you're a noise musician or someone who likes doing experimental stuff, you know, maybe this is interesting to you. Add some effects. We've got something kind of rhythmic as well as a bit gnarly going on there. And there's just a simple example of using your L6 as a sort of noisy drone box, but the LFOs make it more interesting than it would otherwise. Hopefully you can see how powerful and fun this companion app can be, and all because a smart, gear-addicted pal decided to take action. Zoom has not provided any kind of phone app for the L6 themselves, so it's a great example of a passionate and talented user filling the gap. Maybe Zoom should get in touch with Phil and pick his brain. Is this companion app something you can see taking advantage of? Do you have a device that works well with Web MIDI or would you need an iOS solution? I'm sure Phil will be taking a look at the comments on this video too, so sound off, but remember, be nice. In the meantime, I'll be having fun with LFOs on my L6. <laughs> Thank you.